and how you can use it to teach uh, recall, healing, and that healing can be any style. It can be contact healing, that's where the dog leans against you. It can be focused healing, that's the most common type of healing I do. Or it could be just staying next to you in that pool of the um, and not leaving that spot. So we're going to start with getting the dog to heal for the flirt pole. And I'm going to kind of go through the different steps with a single repetition with him. So the easiest, depending on the dog, is just seeing if you can get them to come away from it. And if they can come away from it, rewarding them with the game. So for that, I want to have stay as much control of the flirt pull as I can. So I'm going to have it over the prey over there, and I'm just going to hold the handle. Okay. Pop. Yes. And once he's there, he can get rewarded. So that's the easiest. The prey is dead. Out.
come to your bubble, but he's got to come away from his prey. Out. Come. <laughs> whether you accept that as your criteria or not. I make Buck look away uh, because that is one of the requirements for some of the sports I do. 